Hi, I'm Dr. Sandra Adams and I'm a pulmonologist. I'm going to describe an easy way to demonstrate tactile fremitus in the normal lung, pneumonia, which is consolidation, pleural effusions, which is fluid between the two linings of the pleura, including the visceral and parietal pleura, and a pneumothorax, which is air between the visceral and the parietal pleura. Now, fremitus is a vibration felt on the patient's chest or back during low frequency vocalization. Oftentimes, we ask patients to say something like 99 and feel the vibration over the back of their thoracic cavity symmetrically with the bony surfaces of our hands. You can either feel with this part of your hand or with the bones here in the palm of your hand. I'm going to be explaining with these cups and this straw to demonstrate how to feel tactile fremitus in a simulated environment in the normal lung, in pneumonia or consolidation, in pleural effusions, and in a pneumothorax. The first situation is going to be our baseline in which the plastic of the cup represents the visceral and parietal pleura as well as the chest wall. The air inside the cup represents the air inside the lung, and the straw represents an air tube, also called a bronchus. By humming into the straw, the vibration travels down the straw, which is the bronchus, through the air in the cup, like the air in the lungs, through the plastic, which is the pleura in the chest wall, which you can feel with the bony part of your hand. So let me demonstrate. Mm. Okay, so that's the baseline and you can feel the vibration. Now you're gonna take a cup with water in the bottom of the fourth of the cup. And this water represents consolidation like pneumonia, which is pus inside the lungs. You're gonna place your hand under the level of the water at the bottom of the cup and hum into the straw again. So what do you feel now compared to your baseline lung? What do you think? Well, you can feel the vibration much more easily. Therefore, fremitus is increased in pneumonia. Now, why does the vibration feel stronger when there's liquid or pneumonia inside the cup or the lung? Why is that? That's right, sound and vibration travel more easily through liquid than through air. Therefore, the sound travels down the straw initially through the air, but then hits the liquid and the vibration becomes much stronger. It kind of takes off when you feel the outside of the cup. So tactile fremitus is increased with consolidation, which is fluid or pus in one area of the lung, like in pneumonia. Now we're gonna take the smaller empty cup and place it in the liquid of the larger cup. The plastic of the smaller cup now represents the visceral pleura. The plastic of the outer cup represents the parietal pleura and chest wall. So what does this represent in clinical practice? Fluid between the pleural surfaces is exactly a pleural effusion. So now we're going to hum through the straw into the empty cup and feel the vibration below the level of the liquid in the outer cup. Mm. What do you feel? Well, I don't feel any vibration, or at least it's markedly decreased, but why? There's fluid in there. Didn't we say that sound and vibration travel more easily through liquid than through air? Well, the key is that there's no connection between the straw, the bronchus, and the liquid, the effusion. The sound slows way down when the straw hits the visceral pleura, the inside cup. Then the sound vibration has to go through the cushion of fluid that's not directly connected to the straw or bronchus, which blunts the vibration. Therefore, in pleural effusions, tactile fremitus is markedly decreased or absent below the level of the fluid, depending on the size of the effusion. Now what we're gonna do is take the two empty cups, one that's smaller than the other one. Do not let the cups touch. Again, the smaller cup represents the visceral pleura, the larger cup represents the parietal pleura and chest wall. So what does this represent when there's air between the visceral and parietal pleural surfaces? What is that? Yes, this is a pneumothorax. So we're gonna hum into the straw again in the smaller cup and feel the vibration on the outer cup. Mm. So what do you feel? 
Assuming the cups do not touch, what do you feel? Again, nearly no vibration, or at least markedly decreased. Why? Well, again, the vibration slows way down when the straw hits the visceral pleura, the inside cup, and then the sound vibration has to go through that cushion of air, which is an even worse conductor than the fluid. So again, there's a cushion that blunts or obliterates the vibration. Therefore, in a pneumothorax, tactile fremitus is markedly decreased or absent in the area of the air, depending on the size of the pneumothorax. Therefore, in consolidation, tactile fremitus is increased because the bronchi are conducting the vibration from our larynx through the lung, but when the vibration hits the pus or fluid in the consolidated lung, like with pneumonia, the vibration takes off increases and you can feel it very easily on the patient's back. In contrast, the tactile fremitus is decreased in a pleural effusion and a pneumothorax because there's no connection between the bronchi in the fluid and the infusion, so the fluid and the effusion and the air in the pneumothorax act as a buffer to decrease or completely obliterate the vibration to your hands.